I have a cousin who was a flying tiger with the American Volunteer Group, the original flying tigers that went to China in 1941 and 42. And he came back to Chicago and he met Virginia Scherer. And they fell in love and they got married at the end of 1942. And three weeks later, she watched him die in a plane crash in Florida training pilots. Nobody knew what happened to her because they'd only been married three weeks. So she just kind of disappeared from the family. And he was not really remembered in any of the stories or the memoirs written by the other pilots who survived the war. My initial thought was to write a book about him so he would be remembered. Once I did that, after connecting with Ginny, his widow, um, all of my other relatives started showing up who died in service and said, well, if you're going to write about him, you can't forget us. My cousin James was killed as an infantryman, and his grave says that he was in the 358th Infantry Regiment of the 90th Division. Well, he was only a rifleman for 14 days because Patton needed replacements during the Battle of the Bulge. So as I started researching, I also wrote his story and thought, well, how great would it be to go walk in his footsteps? We planned a trip to Europe in 2015 and we ended up retracing the steps of the 90th Division from Utah Beach, where they landed, all the way to the point where he was killed. All of the writing that I've done through my healing with James has opened up a whole portal for other people to explore the way that they can heal and connect more. I had one client come to me who wanted to know about his brother's death. and. We did the research, and as we did that, it brought up a lot of things he wasn't expecting about other family members, about his life, about who he is now. Having the answers to his brother's story has helped him in some way work through the grief that he has for other people who have died. Sometimes we go into the research to answer this one or two one or two questions and it takes us down a path we didn't expect and leads to a whole new area where we have answers to questions we didn't know we had. I hope that in some way that it will be passed down through the generations and that soldiers service and sacrifice will not be forgotten. It just brought up so many things from my past, things that I was conscious of, unconscious of, that have opened up so many possibilities for me and let go of a lot of burdens and sadness and you now life is lighter and happier and I get to travel and teach people and connect and heal and it's amazing.